So let's talk about, um, you know, the traditional approach of getting, you know, basically getting analytics done, right? And so, you know, we all know that, you know, there's a lot of different data sources, right? Now, whether they're uh, ERP systems or databases or spreadsheets um, or what have you, um, all different types of, of data. And, you know, that data in the way it's stored, especially in transactional systems, is not meant, it's meant for transactional systems. It's not meant for reporting and analysis, right? And so to get the data in the form where you can do um, analysis and, you know, slicing and dicing and machine learning and predictive forecasting, et cetera, all the things we want to do with our data today, um, you have to transform it, right? Not only do you have to transform it, but you oftentimes have to aggregate it. Uh, you have to turn it into a different um, format, you know, um, traditionally probably a, a star schema or an OLAP um, uh, cube. And, and then you put it into a warehouse, right? Uh, and make it available to um, your visualization tools, right? And th this is a lengthy process. This, this takes a lot of time, uh, it's error prone. And just by the mere fact of, of aggregation and ETLing, you lose some of the data, uh, you lose some of the detail. Right, and so you're end ending, you end up um, in your an analysis looking at summarized um, and transformed transformed data, and you're not able to get to the detail you need to make the true decisions. Right, so this is and oftentimes you know you'll someone will be a business user will be looking at uh, do an analysis and wanting to drill down into the detail and you know. Um, just the nature of it, as we just discussed, it, you know, they can't get to that detail. So they end up having to go to another system uh, or asking for another report or asking for another data source to be added. And it's, it, it takes time and it takes time. And by the time it's done, oftentimes the numbers don't tie out um, or they're different. And it's a very frustrating and time consuming process, right? And this is what we've done for years, right? This is, this is, has been in place and this is what people are doing. They've done it on premise and now they're doing it on the cloud. Uh, but there's a better way, right? And um, what Encorda does is it goes directly at the data sources. It brings all the detail of, of the data and it um, does not transform it. It brings in the detail, it compresses it, it creates what we call a, a mapping um, uh, of the data, and then it stores it in parquet files and puts it in memory. And it does this all at very, very uh, fast speeds. And you'll, you know, it, it eliminates the need to, to, for the ETLing, for the aggregating, um, and for putting it in a data warehouse, frankly. Um, and then it makes it available to visualization tools. Now, Corda, um, being an end-to-end -end platform, we have our own visualization tools. Uh, we have a nice, rich dashboard with uh, uh, insights and nice, uh, fancy visualizations. Um, but of course, you know, we know that uh, people have invested in a lot of, of visualization capability and BI tools, and so we support those as well. So, um, you know, this is the way Encorda uh, brings the detail. And, and the nice thing about it is because we maintain all the detail of the data, um, that drilling down and getting to the, to the, um, uh, to the point where uh, you, you need for decision making is all within the capability of Encorda, and you don't have to go to another tool. Now, of course, if you have a data warehouse already, that's fine. Uh, we can access a data warehouse as well. Um, but, you know, even data warehouses, you're constantly adding more data sources to the data warehouse. So, you know, with Encorda, you have a decision. If you already have a data warehouse, um, you know, when you have another data source, you can either add the data source to the data warehouse or you can have Encorda access it directly and bring it in side by side with the data that's in the data warehouse and do the analysis there. Um, so uh, in Corda, uh, you know, our, the summary is, uh, you know, we are a unified data and, and analytics platform, um, and we're not dependent on ETL or data warehouses, um, and we provide unmatched speed um, and, and agility uh, and, and preserving the detail of the data. Um, if we look at it, you know, we support a ton of different data sources. We have over 200 connectors. Um, we are specialists in a lot of the ERP systems. Uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, experts who have come from uh, places um, like Oracle and SAP and PeopleSoft and others. Um, and they're, we're very familiar with, uh, with the, the ERPs. 
uh, we're also very f familiar with a lot of other uh, line of business systems and um, data stores. So we've created um, a number of different uh, connectors uh, to those data sources. We bring it in with that direct data mapping that I talked about and bring in all the detail, uh, map it, and then we provide it um, to you know the different types of users. Now, we have you know a number of different types of consumers, right? We have um, you know the executives who are looking at uh, doing uh, analysis and looking at uh, reports and wanting to to drill down. We also have um, a lot of users in the office of finance, right? And office of finance, as you know, likes their standardized reports. Um, they like Excel as an interface. We support Excel. We have an Excel add-in, um, and we have a lot of people using. Uh, you know, their standard uh, financial reports um, in Excel or in our own uh, analysis tool, looking at those financial statements and then drilling down into the detail. Uh, to support that, we also have um, some data science capability, right? Um, we are not a data science tool. Uh, we do have some data, data science um, uh, algorithms, but we support Scala, R, uh, Python, and we have a notebook interface where you can write your own um, data science and machine learning algorithms on the data that's in Encorda because we have all the detail. And as you guys know, the key to good data science is, is having uh, that detailed, good uh, detailed data so that you can train your models and get uh, accurate uh, predictive um, um, outputs. Um, so we have all that and we expose it and make it available via a notebook interface. We also have a full set of APIs that you can get at the data. And so you know, if it's if it's basic data science uh, and machine learning that you need, uh, we do have, like I said, algorithms directly in the tool. But then if it's more complex, you can either use a tool of choice or you can write your own uh, through our notebook interface and uh, get at the data directly and then uh, put the results back into Encorda. Um, you know, Encorda really uh, consists of, you know, four uh, primary uh, parts. And so it, we, you know, connect and extract the data uh, we enrich the data, and then we bring it to you in the analysis. And, you know, this includes an in-memory engine, a visualization tools, and developer interfaces. And it's really meant to be an all-in-one data and analytics platform. And, you know, we call it the unified data and data analytics platform. And we say unified because it's meant to encompass both data management and analysis and to serve the needs of everyone from the business user to the data scientist um, to the casual consumer. And uh, we manage the data, like I said, in, in a parquet data lake. And we also uh, make extensive usage of the data and data, data lineage and um, have uh, a lot of metadata there that is mapping uh, the, the data together. And, and we really do have um, what many people refer to in the industry as a semantic layer. And so being able to bring in data from multiple different sources and then having a common nomenclature is is part of what we call our business schemas and it is a is a full and rich uh, semantic layer uh, that makes it very easy then to um, build your analysis and um, uh, uh, insights on um, oh here you go here's the uh, the number of data sources oh we also support you know where this is a cloud solution um, we do have customers that run it on premise as well um, but it is a containerized uh, cloud uh, solution that uh, we deploy um, on the major uh, cloud vendors. And of course, we support you know, all these data sources on the left, but and also a number of different um, uh, BI tools and visualization tools um, here on the right. And here is then the data science uh, tools that, we, uh, that some of our customers are using today. Um, you know, uh, to to augment and get at the data that's in Encorda to do their data science. Um, the, the direct data mapping is really the uniqueness that allows us to analyze the uh, unmodified business data um, at really, really fast speeds. And again, by eliminating the data aggregation and reshaping and uh, no longer having a need for a data mart or data warehouse, um, you know, th this gives us, you know, one data source and we can uh, do multiple workloads on that data source. Uh, this also allows the end users to drill down to summary level and get to that detailed level um, instantaneously. Um, I wanted to give you a couple, uh, you know, I, I mentioned we have over, over 80 customers today. Um, and, you know, we have, you know, small and large customers alike. We have customers in all different industries. 
uh, you know, BI and analytics is not industry specific um, and it's across all functions, right? So I wanted to give you a, a couple highlights um, on some of the customers we have. And a Broadcom is, you know, I think most people know Broadcom and they're using Encorda in an interesting way, right? They um, have grown recently by uh, doing, you know, both organically and through um, acquisition. And if I think back to the times when, um, geez, I think I've been acquired three or four times and then, you know, acquired companies at least three or four times as well. Um, one of the first things that happens when you acquire a company, right, is 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 getting the the data together so you can merge your financial statements, right? So you can report um, on uh, your financials, and you know the common discussion of you know, okay, so how do we translate this chart of accounts to our common chart of accounts? You know, how do we you know look at these different dimensions and map them so that we have um, you know we can consolidate uh, our reporting. And the same goes, it's not just financials, the same goes with HR and, and operations and supply chain and all different, you know, areas of the business. Well, the way it used to work is, you know, back to that old, um, you know, that, 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 that first slide where, you know, you'd have to, you know, get at the data source, you'd have to ETL it, you'd have to aggregate it, you'd have to bring it into the same, you know, star schema or uh, a very similar, you um, uh, data structure and then be able to report on it, right? And that's very time consuming. Well, with with Encorda, uh, Broadcom is not having to do that. And it's really um, uh, increasing their efficiency in bringing their reporting together for their acquired entities. And so they're able to just go right at that data source of whatever acquired company um, they, they, they just, uh, uh, just acquired and get that data and bring it into Encorda. And then the, with the, with the business schema, the semantic layer, be able to, you know, bring it together with it in and side by side in the analysis um, within, you know, within seconds, um, they can see, you know, you can see here 98% of their queries are running in less than four seconds, right? And they're able to do this in days rather than the weeks and months that it used to take. Right. And um, you can imagine how much data they have. They're doing 96 uh, data refreshes a day, um, which, you know, is is um, something that we're able to do. You don't have to load all the data at once. You can do incremental loading, which is um, um, a uniqueness as well. And so, you know, they're bringing in data from all different data sources um, in a very efficient way. And this is one of the things that allowed them to really speed up their um, analysis and bring together um, the data from their acquired entities without having to, you know, go through that uh, traditional process of bringing it all into the common data warehouse and so forth. Um, another case st uh, study I wanted to talk about is, you know, a huge uh, coffee company um, that is, you know, has, you know, thousands of, of, of retail stores out there. And you can imagine the amount of data that uh, that they have, you know, as you can see here, it's billions and billions of records, and you know they could get the answers that they they wanted, but it was taking them forever, right? It was taking, you know, it was it was weeks before they got the answers, and and and, and you know it, that that uh, uh, untimeliness of getting uh, answers to your data um, just is doesn't allow them to make the nimble business decisions that they need to make. So now they're able to, they, now they're using Corda uh, and they're, they're really bringing in, you know, literally tens of billions of, of, of rows of data into Encorda and they're able to get their decisions immediately, right? So it's really improved their business agility. Um, it doesn't take a ton of people to, to run Encorda. Um, and they're expanding their usage, um, you know, from their uh, sales analysis to uh, other parts of uh, other parts of the company as well. So um, really exciting. Now, these are big companies, right? Broadcom and uh, Global Coffee uh, Company are huge companies, but we have uh, companies of all sizes. And one of the great things about, you know, being on the cloud is that, you know, you, we can start small and then scale. And so, you know, our, our cloud solution, you can, you can, you know, uh, elastically scale, you can you s literally can, with a press of a button, increase the size of uh, the machinery that is supporting Encorda. Um, and, uh, you know, so you can start small and grow. And you can see here, you know, some of the customers that we have across all different industries and sizes uh, and, uh, and global companies as well. We have um, companies across the United States, 
uh, Europe, um, uh, Asia Pac, and and the Middle East. So um, lots of different uh, companies, good brand names, um, and of all sizes.